Why does Egon Schiller use the V gesture in so many of his self-portraits, paintings and drawings? This is a question that a friend asked me today and it's fascinating and I want to know the answer. I don't have the answer. I don't know if anyone has the answer. And so I thought you and I could perhaps try and explore it a little bit together. Hey Google, set the timer for seven minutes. Okay, seven minutes, and that's starting now. Right, so seven minutes to try and explore this. Well, I've got in front of me a book from the Albertina. It's a book on Egon Schiele, and there's a chapter in it called Providing a Sign, Egon Schiele's V Gesture. And I had a flick through this chapter this evening. Um, my own thoughts on the subject. Well, it's clear that Egon Schiele was a man in love with the idea of identity. And I've made a video called Radical Reinvention, which explored how Schiele throughout his lifetime reinvented and experimented with so many forms of characters and persona. He was the fighter, he was the model, he was the self-seer, he was the dancer, he was the hermit. You know, he was all of these things and he used painting and drawing as ways of exploring and experimenting with how he could be and tap into all of these different things. And so to me there is this strong sense of identity linked to the V gesture, this idea that here's a young man trying to find out and search for himself and see himself in new ways. And I also think that this V gesture has some air of a trademark. You know, it, it's so you see it today and you instantly can tell it's a Sheila painting. You know, it's, it's just, that's what Sheila does. And a bit like his signatures, which are also very Schiller-esque. You know, he, Egon Schiller had a very distinctive way of captioning, or sorry, not captioning, um, signing all of his works. He would use kind of big block letters with most of the time with a border around the, um, the lettering. And it kind of became another trademark of Schiller. So I think there's the kind of idea of identity and then I don't like to use this word, but also this kind of idea of, kind of branding, you know, trademark um, and having a symbol that's kind of so kind of inextricably linked to him. There are all sorts of theories and this chapter um, from this book kind of go through a whole multitude of different um, possible reasons. Some say it's linked to psychoanalysis and Sigmund Freud. Um, others say it's it's all you know all sorts of different theories exist as to why Egon Schiele does this V gesture. But in 2011, the author of this essay was able to present the detailed solution of the puzzle as to the meaning of the enigmatic V gesture. The answer was to be found neither in psychology nor in pathology, but rather in the consideration of historical works of art. It is no coincidence that the first piece of evidence led directly to the Academy of Fine Arts in Vienna, where Schiele studied. An illustrated book on the Byzantine Chora Church in Constantinople, or Istanbul, published in 1908, so Egon Schiele was 18, and still extant in the Academy's library, includes a reproduction of a large Pantocrator mosaic which the author praises as the best what the Kariyi Chijami can exhibit in mosaics. That the extremely unusual symbolic hand gesture of this image of Christ, with his index and middle fingers spread to form a V, must certainly have drawn Sheila's attention and served as a source of inspiration, is evidenced by the small self-portrait with lowered head executed in 1912, which based on numerous details, can be identified as a direct paraphrase of the Cora Pantocrator. In addition to this, 
The fact that Schiele obviously orientated himself towards the mosaic of the Madonna, located directly across from that of the P Panto crater, for his pictures of pregnant mothers with children visible in their wombs, an exceptionally unusual motif, is further evidenced of the artist's preoccupation with the art embellishing the Cora church. The semantic content of the V-gesture can also be explained by analysis of both the work itself and its source image. With the hand that holds the Holy Scripture, for example, the Pantocrator also simultaneously points to the blessing he performs with the other hand. Sheila appropriates this gesture to demonstrate the radiance of his own divine artistic power, so to speak. The sign of a power that radiates from an artist who senses a certain congeniality with God the Creator is thus the pictorial representation of Sheila's view of himself, which he formulated in writing in September 1911 as follows. He says, My very being must adduce my power over other beings. I am so rich that I must give myself away. So what I just read is essentially saying that Egon Schiele's V gesture was inspired by this Byzantine work of art and that Schiele appropriated or imitated or transcribed the, um, this painting into his own artistic language and used it from that. I'm happy to buy that theory that Egon Schiele delved into Constantinople and the history of art and just took what was interesting and appealing to him. So I'm curious to hear if you have any more thoughts regarding the V gesture. It's something that truly we'll never know for fact because Egon Schiele is not here to explain himself, but it doesn't mean that we can't not make our own investigations and inquiries. Stop. And that's the timer. The seven minutes, I even forgot there was a timer. So I'll stop there. And um, thank you for listening and being part of my Sunday poetry evening. I wish you a beautiful start to the new week and look forward to sharing my new word of the week with you tomorrow. Bye for now.